right, guys. Um, the two shows I chose to watch this week were um, All in the Family, which was released in 1971. It was a drama comedy. And the second show was one I've watched before, um, Switched at Birth. I really like that show. Um, it was a um, family drama, and it was released in 2011. Um, the first show on the family is going to be the more modern show. Um, it showed um, more modern values in, um, in the characters, mainly the dad. Um, showed these values. His daughter comes up pregnant with her boy with her boyfriend, and the boyfriend is still in school. He does not have a job just yet, and they are still living with um, her parents at the time. And so his reaction showed me that he was a very serious person. He was um, very responsible. Um, he was very practical. Um, he told the boyfriend that it was an irresponsible thing for them to get pregnant with him not having a job, not being out of school, not being able to support the family. And then the second thing that um, made me think the show was more modern was um, a lot happened in just one episode. It didn't like keep me waiting for the next episode, really. She got pregnant, told the parents, lost the baby, all in one episode. And also the characters, there was only four characters that I saw. It was mom, the dad, the daughter and the hu and the husband or boyfriend and um so there was no diversity no race diversity no much not much age diversity not much cultural diversity um just that one family is is it and then the second show switched at birth which is one i watched before um for another video um like i said it came out in 2011 um, it's the more postmodern show. Um, there's a lot more diversity in Switch at Birth than there was in All in the Family. Um, there was, race-wise, there was a white American, African American, um, Spanish. There was um, people that were disabled, you know, deaf people, blind people, um, rich, poor, um, people of different, um, cultural values, um, a, a lot different, um, cultural differences between the characters, and then also with, um, Switched at Birth, it kind of anticipates something happening in the next, um, episode. It's not so much like on the family, you get everything in one episode. Um, so it would, I think it's definitely more postmodern. And then it came out in 2011, so obviously it's a later date. Um, for question number two, I chose to watch an episode of The Simpsons called Dogtown. This is basically where um, the dad in The Simpsons um, accidentally um, runs over a man trying to dodge a dog. When he goes to court, everybody's um, all on his side because he saved the dog's life, even though the, the man got hurt. And um, so dogs just basically take over the town because everybody's just letting the dogs do whatever they want, just turning everything over to dogs. And so there was definitely, um, it was pretty postmodern, um, there was definitely a lot of intertextuality as far as advertisements go, I didn't see much intertextuality that um, referenced other characters or um, other books or um, anything like that. It was all mostly advertisements, such as like there was a reference to a Barnes and Noble, but it had the name of um, some kind of dog name, and then Abercrombie and Fitch was Abercrombie and Fetch. Um, I can't remember all of them, but there was like five or six stores that had just turned into um, basically something similar to the real store, but the name had um, something to do with dogs, so it was more of an um, advertising intertextuality. 
type references.